What's going on guys? Thank you so much for viewing this video today. Um, in this video, I'm going to tell you guys why I'll probably never buy lumber from Lowe's again. Um, if you've been following the channel, you know my buddy Dutch from the YouTube channel, Keeping It Dutch. He bought an awesome sawmill. He ended up going with the Norwood HD36, which is a mobile sawmill built on a trailer frame. Has a hitch, you can pull it with your uh, vehicle, you pull it with the side-by-side, -side, whatever, and uh, take it from property to property, do your own milling. So the reason we're not going to be going to Lowe's anytime soon for lumber is we have been making our own lumber. And uh, I've done some videos in the past about Lowe's and the lumber in the United States and this and that. And this is a 2x4 that we actually made just yesterday from uh, a dead tree that was here on our property. Um, this thing is, is as stout as you can get. And then you got your traditional 2x4 uh, from Lowe's which they always got imperfections and stuff as you guys can see there. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much why we're not gonna be buying lumber from Lowe's. Uh, just a couple months ago, you couldn't even get lumber from Lowe's. And I just got the uh, Lowe's website pulled up here on my phone and a dimensional lumber two by four by 12 foot is $9.26 right now in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And uh, this, this is what we've been milling, these 2 by 4 by uh, 12 footers. So I have actually been doing some work here with this lumber that we've been uh, milling on the sawmill. Uh, we've been making some 1 by 4s by 12 footers, and we've been making some 2 by 4 by 12 footers. And uh, if you guys have been uh, following our channel and watching some of our videos, then you know what I'm talking about. But for all of you new viewers... We have been building a feed bunk in our goat barn. Uh, we raise meat goats here, and I needed a better way to be able to go into the barn and feed them during the winter months without them trampling me or knocking us over. And this also allows my kids to be able to go in and feed them as well. And uh, I'll, I'll put some pictures up so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. I'm not quite done yet, but it has been a start. And this sawmill has allowed us to come up with whatever dimension of lumber we need um, as long as you got the big enough trees you can get b the widest lumber as you need but uh yeah that's it, it is awesome um, like i was saying just a couple months ago i used to go to lowe's for everything and one day i walk into lowe's early this summer of 2020 and there was hardly any lumber on the shelves at all and I was like, wow. And uh, the next, I think it was the next week or two weeks after that, I had to go back to uh, Lowe's for some other supplies. And I walk in and they actually got lumber in, but the price had almost doubled. Well, uh, I've been seeing this on the news and stuff. And I'm like, wow, this is just, this is crazy. There's wildfires going on. The whole uh, virus going on 2020, I guess it had a lot of uh, sawmills shut down and stuff, whatever reason. But then I had some family members and some friends that were uh, in the process of building a house. And their lumber bill actually doubled and tripled within a matter of three months time. So yeah, uh, this sawmill, it has been uh, very valuable. And once again, it's not my sawmill, it's my best friend's. But uh, he's in the process of moving out to his off-grid land right now. For those of you that do not follow us right now on YouTube, um, go check out Keeping It Dutch. He bought 40 acres just down the road from us here in Northeast Oklahoma in the foothills of the Ozark Mountains where we have an abundance of hardwood. We do have some softwood like pine and we got cedars. And that's going to lead me to what I'm going to talk about next. So this is your... I'm not going to say traditional. This is your new dimensional uh, pine or fir. Pretty much from an evergreen tree is what a lot of the lumber that Lowe's carries nowadays. Um, back in the days, a lot of people built their houses out of hardwood like oak and hickory, walnut, and trees like that. Um, in different areas of the United States, different types of trees are more abundant and here in the foothills of the Ozarks we have more hardwoods especially here in our neck of the woods uh, in northeast Oklahoma we have an abundance of oak and uh, let me let me pick up this oak 2x4 and kind of show you guys this thing is heavy duty and once these dry out 
it is almost impossible to drive a nail through. Uh, that is the downfall of using hardwood is once it is dry, um, a lot of times people have to pre-drill them before you can get a screw or a nail in. Um, if you guys go check out my videos where I've been building my feed bunk in the barn for our goats, I have been using just some uh, three inch torque head screws and some inch and a half torque head screws and that has been no problem but uh the reason why is because this stuff is still wet um every time i go to put a screw in this wood right now i can feel it it's wet but you can't probably see it but every time i go to put a screw in you can see the moisture kind of come to the top where the screw pushes the moisture to the top so uh right now i don't have to pre-drill it but if i was to dry this lumber um yes i would have to pre-drill it there is downfalls to using this hardwood uh, one downfall is drying it a lot of the lumber that you buy at your big box stores like Lowe's and Home Depot and places like that it will both mostly be kiln drying kiln dry um, we don't have a kiln dryer and actually all the lumber I've been using right now at the time I haven't even really dried I just got it stacked tightly in my shop um, it's still wet so what I'm doing is I stack it tightly and this allows the weight of each board to kind of keep each other straight all the boards on the bottom will be straight because when you mill this lumber you can kind of tell even when you go to Lowe's or the big box stores or your local lumber yard um, in the past couple years it has got really hard to find straight lumber but when you mill this lumber yourself you can kind of tell the bows and the and the uh, turns and stuff that is in this wood it is hard to get a perfectly flat uh, piece of wood to lay down for you that's why a lot of people you see uh, woodworking channels and woodworking shops and stuff they'll have planers and joiners and stuff like that where they run this milled lumber through and it makes it nice and smooth straight and dimensional but for the projects we're working on this stuff works out wonderful it is super stout and it's free minus the cost of the sawmill but like i said guys this this one right here was like what nine dollars and some change for a two by four by twelve so add ten of these together you got a hundred dollars in your tax so a sawmill is going to pay for itself pretty quick um it, it is an awesome investment if you do have the property with mature trees or you know somebody that has property that wants wants the uh trees cleared off the property um one thing about living in oklahoma where we live we are in tornado alley so just about every spring you can uh, get on facebook you can get on uh craigslist stuff like that there's always people needing cleanup from uh trees and debris and stuff in their yard just recently here local where we live we had two storms come through last year that wiped out tons of huge oak and pine trees and it was a shame because I've seen a lot of uh, local tree companies and stuff just cutting it up and hauling it to burn. And uh, that, man, after having a sawmill, that would really hurt to see that go on now. Um, I use the Kubota tractor a lot. If you guys are new, we got a Kubota M59 backhoe tractor that has a grapple on the front end. We go up to these logs after we cut them, grab them. We can take them, put them on the dump truck, haul them back here use the tractor grab them again put them right on the sawmill and we're ready to go uh, the way we got the sawmill set up right now we're only able to cut 12 foot lengths of logs for lumber but it has actually been working out wonderful uh, rarely do we need anything longer than 10 foot and uh, those of you that have been following the video you kind of see what i've been doing with that and it is uh it's something cool if you need beams uh, a lot of people buy railroad ties. Now we can make our own railroad ties. Um, the downfall to using this hardwood that is non-treated is rot and termites. So a lot of it cannot have ground contact because it's not going to last you a long time. But there are ways to treat it if you want to go through that process. And uh, that's the only thing that I might ever go to Lowe's if I do have to is to buy maybe some plywood or something that we can't really make at home or if we have to have some kind of post that go in the ground that is treated uh I, unfortunately i will have to use the big box stores for that 
But as far as your everyday building, um, your dimensional lumber, I don't think we'll have to go to Lowe's anymore as long as we got this sawmill. So uh, it's been wonderful, like I said. And guys, uh, it's hard it's hard to see on here. This stuff's really dusty. But one thing I want to start doing is making some furniture, some tables and stuff like that. Some coffee tables, maybe some chairs and stuff eventually once I get some uh, more tools and get better set up here in the shop. But the thing about this lumber here is this is just oak. But man, this stuff is beautiful. If you go back and watch some of our videos, once we cut this stuff, we'll take some water and pour on it. And the beauty of it is every tree is very unique in its own way. Uh, the grains, the colors, everything is different. And one cool thing about living here in Northeast Oklahoma, on top of all the other things I mentioned is, there's an abundance of all types of trees. We've got persimmons, wild cherry trees, you got elm trees, sycamore trees, all kinds of different trees. And all these different types of trees adds different color and different uh, unique designs on building lumber. So guys, that is why I am not going to be going to buy lumber at Lowe's anytime soon. So guys, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Check out some of our uh, videos milling up our own logs here on the farm. We're going to have a lot coming up in the future. So make sure you click that notification bell. Like this video. Leave a comment. Do you guys have, If anyone out there has a sawmill, I'd like to hear what are some of your favorite... Uh, logs to uh, or species of trees you like to uh, cut for lumber do you guys build furniture i want to hear some feedback so thank you so much for watching until next time we'll see you then